Our next guest has been crowned the queen of the beach read. Not a bad title, if I must say so myself. Now acclaimed novelist Jill Cargman is out with a collection of very funny and witty essays called Sometimes I Feel Like a Nut. I think that describes me every single day. Jill is here now. It's good to have you in the studio. Thank you for having me. I have to say, there we get a lot of books and a lot of authors coming through on the show. This book right here had me laughing from beginning to end because, oh. you know, I know you have a huge background when it comes to writing. You've written for magazines like Vogue and you co-wrote a Sundance film called Intern. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to go the nonfiction route this time around? Well, it was actually not my idea. I have to give credit to my editor, Debbie Steer, who had seen me on a show like this, uh -huh. and she had read a couple articles of mine, and she had approached me about doing a nonfiction work. So really? I have to give her all the credit. It was her vision. To her. Yeah. Your father is, was executive at uh, Coco Chanel, mm -hmm. and he worked in the advertising department, and he kind of helped to get you in the direction of becoming a, an author. Is that correct? He did. I mean, he started at Doyle Dane Burnback, legendary agency. It's Okay. sort of like the Mad Men years without pounding the <laughs> vodka and all that. But um, he he really was interested in commercials and would tell us to be quiet during the commercials when the rest of America was going to pee yeah. and refill their popcorn or he whatever. We were them. glued. <laughs> and he was really into taglines and the whole concept of, you know, a one camp one liner campaign that becomes famous. And uh -huh. so when it came time to brand myself for college applications, I went with sometimes I feel like in that. Very interesting. So that's the explanation for the title then. You've got three kids. I thought that maybe that might have been the reason. You <laughs> well, that, like you're going a little crazy oh, right I, there. Yes, I have. I'm like <laughs> one step from the asylum. Okay, so you in your book you talk about laughter, not to forget about, you know, having fun even in the darkest times. It's a lot of really funny stories about things that you like, things that you don't like. Were you ever afraid to put some of these things out there? Not really. I no. have no edit button. I've always <laughs> been really open and I never self-censor with that stuff. Okay. So I just feel like humor is a weapon that has gotten me through so much. Mm -hmm. And humor is a really big deal in my family. And my father, in fact, paid his way through Columbia Business School doing stand-up comedy. Wow. So it's literally embedded it's in the family. In the family. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, speaking of comedy, here we go. You have a term in there called spitzering. Can you explain that to the viewers? <laughs> well, that was when the gov was yeah. getting in big trouble and he was going going down in flames. Well, she was going down. Yeah, yeah. And um, I just, you know, was sort of making a mockery of getting busted with your pants Gotcha. Down and okay. And you have a thing with uh, the women apparently here in New York City, the socialites, that yes. have a practice of, of scheduling their C-sections. Oh, yeah. Slice and dice. To posh to push. It's the set who don't want to mess up their down yonders. Mm -hmm. And this socialite cornered me at a baby shower and was like, don't do it, you can't do it that way. As if you're just like a <laughs> mammal way. in the bush, like squatting in a rice paddy and like dutying out a baby. I was like, that's right. nature. <laughs> She's like, no, no, no. You've got to get your manicure, pedicure, schedule your C, the baby comes out and you're all intact and totally oh implied that I'm like the Holland Tunnel now. See, and a lot of the stories that you have come from real life situations and you're, you're disgust for them. Like, and you and I are a lot of like in this. <laughs> we don't like clowns at all, mimes. Hey, mimes are the devil. Mimes are the devil and vans. What's your, what's your just like okay oh, man, it's like. very it's I I always just <laughs> thought there were children with duct tape yeah. stuffed in the back that's just what I always thought I was always scared of vans in the 70s the ones with no windows oh, very Yikes. interesting book that you've got here <laughs> well thank you very much for coming on the show very deep everybody. congratulations deep stuff Frederica Bimmel it is deep stuff make sure to pick up a copy of Jill Cargman's new book it's called sometimes I feel like in that definitely a great read thank, thank you, you. <laughs>